the rest of them, the best of them, tougher than leather. You can call me Knuckles. Unlike Sonic, I don't chuckle. I'd rather flex my muscles. Knuckles the Echidna. Probably one of the physically strongest characters we ever get to play as in the Sonic series as a whole. He can punch meteors like it's nothing, run through walls like they're not even there, and throw punches weaker than a child. Wait, what? Now, I don't mean every single version of Knuckles is weaker than a child, but some of them sure do seem like it. So that's what we're doing today. We're going to see how strong Knuckles' punches are in every single game that we see him throw a punch in, and talk a little bit about it too. But before we do that, if you enjoy this video, then punch that like and subscribe button. Actually, don't do that, because I don't want to be held liable for destroying your screen. But if you do enjoy the content, then it would mean a lot to me if you did subscribe, because it really does help out the channel a ton. Also, let me know where you think Knuckles and Sonic Adventure ranks in this video. Is he the strongest? 5th strongest? 16th strongest? Let me know in the comments below. With that, let's take a look at which Knuckles is the strongest. I hope you enjoy. In order to figure out how strong Knuckles is, well, Knuckles are, we first need to figure out how to calculate how strong his punches actually are. And we do have a calculation for that. The formula is force equals mass times acceleration. Getting Knuckles' mass is easy. Sonic Channel's website gives us all the characters' heights and weights, so we can just check out the Knuckles page and see he weighs in at 40 kilograms, or 88 pounds. The acceleration part is where it gets a little tricky. Acceleration is calculated by taking the final speed an object is traveling at, subtracting the initial speed from it, and then dividing that all over the time it takes to get from the initial speed to the final speed. For all of our equations though, the initial speed is going to be zero since we're just looking at knuckles throwing punches and not running through walls or things like that. So now we just need to figure out how to calculate the final speed of knuckles punch, which is fairly straightforward. Since we're measuring in centimeters for his punches and we want our equation for speed to be in meters per second, we will have to divide our centimeter distance by 100, but the equation is as simple as taking the length of a punch in centimeters, then dividing it by the time it takes to deliver the punch. But before we can figure out how strong Knuckles' punches are, there are a few factors we need to figure out, like how far his punches actually go. We can do this by what I'm calling the centimeter to pixel ratio. I explained it in my last math related video where we figured out Sonic's top speed, but I'll explain it again here in case you didn't see that video. Essentially, in every game, each character is a certain amount of pixels tall. We'll use Knuckles from the Sonic Advance games. Here we can see that Knuckles is about 34 pixels tall. On Sonic Channel's official Japanese website, Sega confirms that Knuckles is 110 centimeters tall. So if we do some basic math, we can see that each pixel on Knuckles' body is about 3.24 centimeters. Now that we know that, we can measure how far Knuckles' punches are in pixels, and then translate that into a usable form of mathematics for our equation. In one of his idle animations, Knuckles is seen punching the air. By calculating where his fist starts and where it ends in the animation, we can see that Knuckles' fist extends out 22 pixels, or a total distance of roughly 71.17 centimeters. Now, force is a strange thing, because it can be kind of hard to visualize sometimes. Force is measured out in newtons, and from there we can do some quick multiplication to visualize the force as pounds or kilograms of force. That way, we can get a more tangible understanding of what we're talking about here. With all that talked about, we can start by talking about which games we're actually looking at today. Basically, any games that have us playing as Knuckles punching something, or that show a punching animation will be included in this list, except for Sonic Chronicles, only for the reason that I couldn't find a good angle to measure his punch, and I don't want to just make up numbers and lie to you guys. Also, like we did with the Sonic video, we have two different versions of Knuckles that we're looking at today. Modern Knuckles and Classic Knuckles. Although we've never seen them in the same game together, they are two visually distinct versions of the same character. One is younger and smaller, and the other is older and taller. In our last math video, we came to the conclusion that Classic Sonic is 81.6 centimeters tall based on his height in Sonic Generations. If we look at a game where we have both Classic Sonic and Classic Knuckles, like in Sonic 3, we can see that Knuckles is one pixel taller than Sonic. From there, we can do our centimeter to pixel ratio math again, and see that Knuckles is 84 centimeters tall, or about 33 inches. Alongside his height, we also need his weight. Now, while we don't know with 100% certainty his weight, I'm just going to assume based on how Classic Knuckles is about 25% shorter than Modern Knuckles, then he's about 25% lighter as well, weighing in at 30 kilograms or about 66 pounds. 
Knowing that, we can go ahead and add in his height and weight for any of the games we see Classic Knuckles punch in, which is surprisingly quite a few. But let's not get too ahead of ourselves. We have 16 games we're looking at today, so let's get started. Starting with the weakest Knuckles on our list, we have Knuckles from Sonic Boom Fire and Ice, punching with 154.49 pounds of force. Now Knuckles in this game is interesting. For his punch, he actually jumps forward, pauses in midair, then slams his fist down to the ground. Accounting for only the slamming, he hits you with the 154 pounds of force. Well sure it might hurt a bit, it's not really going to do any damage except maybe leave you with a bruise. Oh, and before you ask, if I were to include his jump, then this would only make him weaker. So trust me, I tried my hardest here to make him stronger. Also before we get too much deeper, I do want to say that we just used modern knuckles height and weight for boom knuckles, since we were never given official heights and weights for the boom cast, so we just need to go off what their modern versions heights and weights are. With that out of the way, number 15 on our list is Knuckles from Sonic Adventure 2, punching with 226.56 pounds of force. This to me was very surprising. I knew he wasn't going to be the strongest one on our list, but seeing him at second to last was something I did not expect whatsoever. Looking back on it though, the punches he throws do take a long time to finish, well, compared to the rest of the entries on our list anyway. Throwing a punch in a fifth of a second is still mighty impressive. Picking up our number 14 spot is Knuckles and Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal, punching with 301.66 pounds of force. The punch he does here is actually the slowest recorded punch out of all the Knuckles we're going to look at today, which is funny. If only we were able to just punch a little bit faster, maybe he would have been stronger, but I guess that's the hand he was dealt. And rounding out the Boom games in our number 13 spot is of course Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric Knuckles, punching with 418.45 pounds of force. There isn't too much to note about Knuckles here, he just does a standard punch forward that takes a while to finish compared to the other Knuckles on our list. What I did start to notice here is that the speed at which Knuckles punches greatly outweighs anything else in our equation. Like increasing the punch will make the punch a lot stronger rather than just adding more weight. Following up that in our number 12 spot goes to Knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog 2006 punching with 456.57 pounds of force. Now the footage you'll see is from Project 06 but I took the data from Base 06. I just find Project 06 more fun to play. With that being said, there's nothing really to note about Knuckles here. It's just a standard punch or you can do a 3 hit combo, but we're just taking the punches from as the first initial punch. In our number 11 spot is our first appearance of classic Knuckles, that being Knuckles from Sonic Superstars punching with 490 pounds of force. In most of classic Knuckles appearance, we as a player are not able to do a move that makes Knuckles actually punch something. But there typically is some sort of animation that shows Knuckles punching something, and Superstars is no different. If you play Golden Capital Act Knuckles, at the end of the stage we see Knuckles punch a door that leads to the Chaos Emeralds. So we do our calculations with this punch here, make sure to include his weight as his classic appearance, not his modern appearance, and that's how we end up with our number. Number 10 is taken up by Knuckles and Sonic the Fighters, punching with 858 pounds of force. I first want to note that Knuckles here punches at nearly double the force he does in Superstars, which is crazy, but now we're also starting to get to the part where Knuckles' punches are stronger than the average MMA or boxer's punches. Also, Knuckles somehow enlarges his fist whenever you punch in this game, which is just really cool. I know it's a cartoon effect, but imagine if you could just make your fist double the size when punching someone. That would be awesome. At number 9 is Knuckles and Shadow the Hedgehog punching with 961.27 pounds of force. While you normally can't play as Knuckles, if you plug in a second controller, or in my case, if you have two controllers mapped to one, the second player can control the buddy character that accompanies Shadow. So if we just go to a stage with Knuckles like Lithic Canyon, we're able to punch our enemies away with ease. Following up in our number 8 spot is Knuckles and Sonic Frontiers, punching with 1,672.32 pounds of force. With the third and final update to the game, we're able to play as Tails Amy, and for our video, Knuckles. But it's a bit hard to get the calculations since Knuckles lights his fists on fire and he has this hologram look to him, but overall those are the numbers we were able to come up with. In our number 7 spot is Knuckles and Sonic Heroes punching with 1,906.31 pounds of force. This game is pretty interesting because Knuckles here can pick up both Sonic and Tails and throw punches with them in his hands. Because of this we need to account for Sonic and Tails weights as well. Adding in Sonic's 35kg and Tails' 20kg, we're adjusting our weight to be 90kg, or about 209 pounds. Another interesting point is that this punch is actually one of the longest on our list, coming out at 0.2 seconds. The only punches that have taken longer than this one are Sonic Boom Fire and Ice Knuckles and Sonic Adventure 2 Knuckles. 
coming in at our number 6 spot is Knuckles and Sonic Dream Team, punching with 2,268.47 pounds of force. This is the first game where we utilize an idle animation in order to figure out how strong Knuckles' punches are. In Dream Team, Knuckles has two different idle animations, one where he punches his fists into his hands, and another where he punches the air in front of him. Using the animation where he punches forward, we're able to get how far and how fast Knuckles punches. Unfortunately, the only moves Knuckles can do in this game are glide doing a homing attack, but I'm glad there's still some way we can figure out how strong his punches are. Also, if you do have an Apple device, play Dream Team with an Apple Arcade free trial, because it's actually really fun. Anyways, we're entering our top 5 with Knuckles and Sonic Adventure, punching with 3,438.78 pounds of force. What I find interesting is that Adventure and Adventure 2 Knuckles are so far apart on our list, and that Adventure Knuckles is throwing punches 15 times stronger than Adventure 2 Knuckles. I feel like the developers made Knuckles move a little slower in Adventure 2 on purpose, so it's easier to play as him with the levels designed specifically around him, but I never realized how much faster Knuckles did punch in Adventure compared to Adventure 2 Knuckles until making this video. Taking up our number 4 spot is Knuckles and Sonic Mania, punching with 12,268.67 pounds of force, a little under 10,000 pounds stronger than what we saw in Sonic Adventure. Here is where we start seeing a lot more ridiculously strong numbers on our list, and also here on out everything will be in 2D and not 3D. Like in Dream Team, Knuckles' punches are seen in an idle animation, since there's no way to actually throw a punch while playing as Knuckles, unless you stop moving. I really like watching Knuckles go from his idle animation to just standing there. He just looks so lifeless inside. Another thing to point out about his punches in this game, and the following three, are that they all come out in just one frame, which makes them incredibly fast and incredibly strong. Just keep that in mind as we talk about the final three punches in our list. At our number three spot is Knuckles' debut game, Sonic 3 and Knuckles, with Knuckles punching with 14,941.67 pounds of force. For this punch, we see Knuckles punch the Eggmobile that Sonic is riding while in launch base zone, and surprisingly, the Eggmobile doesn't break. In fact, Knuckles doesn't even leave a dent in the thing. Karma does find Knuckles though as we watch him fall as the rocket is being launched. Thankfully, Knuckles does survive this encounter, or else this video wouldn't exist at all. In our number 2 spot is Knuckles in the Sonic Advance games, punching with 24,942.78 pounds of force. For context, that's roughly the weight of a fully grown African elephant coming straight towards your face. In all three games, Knuckle has this idle animation where he punches his fist forward. We used this version of Knuckles as an example earlier when he throws a punch forward, and it's crazy just how far forward his fist goes in such a short amount of time. If only the animators added in one more sprite in his punching animation, then this number would have been a lot smaller, but alas, here we are today. And now, for our number one spot, we have... Knuckles from Sonic the Hedgehog Pocket Adventure, punching with 29,982.5 pounds of force. Unlike the past three games, Knuckles does actually punch in this game, during his boss fight to be specific. In this fight he can either jump and glide at you, spin dash, or attempt to punch Sonic right in the face. It's these punches that we're measuring and if you look at the distance, it makes sense. He punches at about 85 centimeters, or about 3 feet in a 60th of a second. If you were to ask me before all this which Knuckles was the strongest, Sonic the Hedgehog Pocket Adventure Knuckles would not have entered my mind, but here we are. And that's it! Thank you all so much for watching, and if you made it this far into the video, why not subscribe? You clearly like the content, and if you like this one, you'll definitely love what I have cooking up in the future. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, and let me know in the comments who you want to see next in these math videos. Have a great day everyone, peace. Oh my gosh, I forgot to do forces. He punches stuff in that game, doesn't he? Thank you.